A quick new idea, daily, from the world's greatest TEDx talks. I'm your host, Atosa Leone, and this is TEDx Shorts. There's a misconception that documented immigrants who came to the U.S. the so-called right way have an easier transition into American society. In reality, they also experience racism, cultural bias, and discrimination, regardless of visa status. As a natural-born citizen, Kyle Quinn only realized the extent of the xenophobia when he saw the immigrant experience through his Brazilian wife's eyes. It wasn't too long ago, Isabel and I moved to Ohio, and when we did, we had to go to the Ohio Bureau of Motor Vehicles, which I'll refer to as the BMV for this story. And we went simply to transfer our licenses over to an Ohio license. And so we got, you know, we went together that day, we hopped in line, it's a nightmare as always, right? And you get up to the counter, and we started to present our documents to get the driver's license. The first piece of documentation we submitted was Isabel's temporary green card. And I use the word temporary actually very purposefully, because the biggest myth in the unwritten book of immigrating to the U.S. is that you can simply marry an American and get a green card. It could not be further from the truth, folks. It takes a big investigatory process, numerous interviews, hefty fees, before you're even considered for the permanent green card. Isabel and I have been married for more than three years and still don't have one, so I think that proves the point, but I digress on that, on that matter. So we started to present the documents, the first of which was her temporary green card, and the moment the BMV rep saw that green card, the reaction we got was shocking. She got up out of her chair, began to raise her voice in a very quick and accusatory way, started demanding additional documents, including mine, which we hadn't yet presented. She looks at me and she said, and where's your green card? And I said, I don't have one. And she said, well, then you can't get a driver's license. And she pushed back our documents. She leaned over the counter, pushed us out of the way, and waved on the next people to become attended to. And when she did that, I grabbed her arm, I put it there, I said, beg your pardon. I said, I know, I'm so nice, right? I beg your pardon. <laughs> I said, I don't have a green card because I'm a U.S. citizen. And when I said that, she stopped dead in her tracks, looked up at me a little bit confused. And this is all she could conjure up, and I'll do the action. Well, why didn't you say so? <laughs> and all I kept thinking was, why does it even matter? You see, U.S. citizens can get driver's licenses. Legal permanent residents can get driver's licenses. Even foreigners with foreign driver's licenses can get a temporary international driving permit in the U.S. So what's it matter at all where you are from if you're in line at the BMV? Now, I was a little bit naive to think that these things don't happen all that often. No, I know they do, right? Just turn on the news. It wasn't too long ago, and a lot of you may even recall a horrifying clip that came out on social media, made national news, and it was of two Latinas at a local retailer in a checkout line, speaking Spanish amongst themselves, and another woman begins to berate them, starts yelling expletives, telling them that they should speak English, that they were nobodies, and that they should go back to where they effing came from. What we must acknowledge is that these occurrences are not all that rare. They're happening in our cities, on our campuses, and in our workplaces. Sadly, I think Isabel has become conditioned to this type of treatment, and she's only lived here for three years. That's what tells me it's so grossly overt, and it's essentially become synonymous of what it means to even be American, to be culturally insensitive, and that's a problem. I'll tell you how I know that. When we left the BMV that day and hopped back into the car, I was hot. I was still so mad and upset with the way we were treated. I kept saying, I can't believe it. And Isabel was there on my right, and she was cool, calm, collected, as if she had been there a million times before. She looked over at me and said, welcome to my world. 
For those of you who are here today in the audience or will watch this talk on the internet, you are now in the know. You can no longer be ignorant or blind to the fact that this bias is both dividing and degrading. The immigration process already robs you of your dignity in many respects. How do I know? I'm reminded of it every time we cross the border together. We have to stand in special lines and are subjected to questioning that wouldn't make you think that she's an attorney and I'm an accountant. It's exhausting to live that way. I've been a U.S. citizen my whole life, and she and I have been married living in this country for over three years. We've taken multiple jobs, we've lived in three different states, bought and sold homes, we've adopted puppies, paid taxes, we've, you, you name it, we've done it. We've given our all to this country, and not once has it in return told us that we can call it home together forever. Isabel, to you and every good immigrant of this nation, you are not visitors. You are not aliens. You are strong and courageous, forgiving and optimistic. You continually persevere in the face of adversity when it would be all too easy to quit. Don't give up when something makes you question it all. The smile you wear during these times is not a lie. It's a beacon of hope and a reminder to us all that this nation was also built by brave and resilient immigrants like you. The TEDx talk you just listened to was recorded at a TEDx event at the University of Cincinnati in Cincinnati, Ohio. All TEDx events are independently organized by volunteers who believe in TED's mission of ideas worth spreading. Special thanks to the organizing team at TEDxU Cincinnati. Want to listen to more TEDx talks? Explore the entire archive on the TEDx YouTube channel. I'm Atosa Leone. Thanks for listening, and see you tomorrow. <laughs>